Hey, what's going on? Hey, this is uh, Admin. Anyways, uh, the purpose of this video is just to show you a quick uh, tutorial on how to gain your Google API uh, secret and your regular key. Uh, anyways, um, it's a really simple process, but it can be a little confusing depending on what you pick. Uh, if you pick the wrong thing, it's going to I don't know. It's it's going to make a long day for you. So anyways, um, can you do me a favor? You know, just like the video, subscribe. I know you hear that in most videos, but it does help build up our user base. Um, this video will not have a bunch of flashy effects and music. Uh, and the reason for that is, is because it's just better to get straight to business. Alrighty, so you're going to go here to the Plex Guide Wiki, and we're going to look here at the Google Drive API. And so basically what this does, it allows key, two key programs to communicate with your Google Drive. That is our clone and that is Plex Drive. You won't obtain these keys before and not during that process because it's just, again, another distraction for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google Drive and we're going to sign in. So we'll sign in here. And what we'll do is we'll go to Developers Console. Here. I'll just give it a second to load. So, anyways, when you bring up Plex Guide, uh, these are your two main programs that you'll be configuring R Clone and Plex Drive. Uh, if you're using a Mac or Linux, they're pretty easy to configure. The reason for it is, is because the copy and paste works properly in terminal. If you're using Windows PC, you're going to have to use different um, shortcuts. So, be a little bit careful about that. Right clicking will end up duplicating things and certain things will piss you off. Uh, trust me, I know from experience. So this is your Google Drive API. So this is the thing that you're going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and enable this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a uh, project. So right here it says that we need to create a project. You can name it whatever you want. Um, just be careful because in your Google Drive, when things upload, it will say the project's name and it'll say uploaded this. So if you call it, you know, test fat, test fat will show up. So anyways, I'm going to just call this uh, Plex Guide project. You can name it whatever you want. And it's not going to affect anything that you're doing. And so the next thing that we have to do is we're going to have to create credentials. Be very careful about this because when it says do not do the one in the wizard, well, I did that one time and you'll start getting lost. And like anything, you start getting lost, you don't, really don't want to uh, deal with it anymore. So, okay, it looks like I have to enable it. This is a new account, so that's the reason for it. So it's going to enable the Google Drive API. Good times. And the reason you have to use R clone and Plex Drive is because if you use Plex to scan against um, your Google Drive, you'll get an API ban, which is a bad thing. And what I understand is, is that Google thinks you're attempting to download everything, but you're not. So anyways, I need to create credentials. So it looks like it's trying to help me out, but you can click that or you can click that here. And what you're going to do is you're going to create them. You have to be very careful to pick O authentication client ID. Do not pick this. If you pick that, you're going to be kind of like, hey, it only gave me one thing. Wow, configure consent. Okay. So, uh, Plex Guide. And this is the first time I've had to do this in a long time. Plex Guide. PNG, and then hit save. You really don't have to even do the photo. You just got to fill in what's mandatorily required. So it's good you saw it for the first time. So what you have to be careful is you need to pick other uh, pretty instructions. So you saw we created credentials. We picked authentication, client ID, and then we got to pick other. Do not pick web client. You'll be tempted to do this. You can name it whatever you want. If you name, if you pick any of these other things, it'll be misleading. You'll wonder why your stuff's not uploading. So, here is 
this and what you're going to end up with is a client ID and a client secret. Make sure that you keep these two in a safe location. Uh, if anybody gets this, they basically have access to your Google Drive without the password. So these are the passwords in a sense. So just to show you a quick demo of what it's going on, and this is a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but you can see here, here's a unencrypted R clone install. So right now we have no mounts. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this G drive. I'm going to go ahead and call it, um, I mean, type 10. You know, when you do this so often, you're going to get used to just doing this without thinking about it. Okay. And here is the client secret. And again, this is not something I'm going to keep. So hit enter on that. This is a headless machine, meaning that you're not actually on the actual client. So I got to take this in the browser and I got to consent and say, Yes, I want it to, to access. So you see how there's nothing in here, which is a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to paste this here. And then it's going to ask me to sign into a Google account. And then uh, let's see here. I say allow. And then this is what I need to put in to allow our clone to access it. This is only a one-time thing. So if you try this again in the future, you have to kind of reconfigure this. Do not configure as a team drive. It'll never work. I mean, our clone will, but it won't work for the purpose of this. So the good thing is about our program is it does everything for you. It sets up all the services, the scripts, everything. It was a three month process, uh, learning curve on our clones forms. A lot of people don't share information or the people who know everything are really bad at explaining it. So my goal is to help you understand it. So if I type CD mount G drive, because this is the way our script is set up. So that's a good thing. And looks like it decided to freeze on me. Oh, there we go. So you see how there's that getting started? So that's what we have here. So if I type touch cat txt, then what happens is when I'm in my Google Drive, I should see it there. So this is how we know that it works. So again, this is how you obtain your Google API key in the second part was a little bit beyond the scope of the video, but to just give you a little bit of an insight how it works. So if you like this video, please feel free to share it, like it, favorite it, subscribe to it, um, you know, join our web community, help us grow. So um, we just want to help spread the knowledge. And there you go. There's the cat TXT. And this is important because um, all our clone does in this process is it just moves your files. So all that is done with obtaining your Google um, API key. Thanks again.